Walter! Mail's here! Ma oh. Mm. I don't think Walter is going to need his mail. Whoever lived here must have left in a hurry. They left their empty beer cans behind. They left all their blood behind as well. That's kind of important, too. That's what I always check before I leave the house. Keys, wallet, blood. Is this like Skyrim? If I sleep on the bed, will someone from the Dark Brotherhood show up and tell me that I have to... No spoilers, I haven't beaten that game yet. <laughs> Mike, it's been out for ten years! Yeah, one day I'll get around to playing it. Broken computer... File cabinet knocked over... A trunk. Uh, there was nothing in there. Oh, so that big old clink noise I heard was irrelevant. This guy set off a trap when he walked through. Look at, look back, come back, come back. Oh, he kicked the door down and it set off a trap. Yep, he got shot or something. Or the bookcase fell on him. Oh, that's what that did. Cool. So let's watch out for traps. There might be more than one. There couldn't possibly be another one. No, no, no. That was the last trap. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, a baby carriage. In oh, I bet there's a baby in it. That's not a baby. Ow! Wait a second. Babies don't explode. Ah! Oh, God, oh, God. Run, 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 run. Ah! Holy crap, that was a big explosion. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, an aftershock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ow! Is that live? <laughs> the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook says detonate traps with live grenades. That's literally how you get rid of most things with explosive ordnance disposal. So. Oh! There's grenades. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I think I took a piece of shrapnel to my frontal lobe there. Oh, there's a person! Who are you? Olivia sent us. She's still alive? Are, are you here to free me? You're like the opposite of Wilson from Home Improvement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're here to free you! I don't know where the key is. I don't know if there is one. I wasn't expecting anyone to see me today. I I would have tidied up a bit. I probably look like a mess. <laughs> I'm more worried about the mines. I think Walter has the key. You'll have to get it from him. Good luck. Your voice sounds exceptionally deep for a 13-year-old girl. So now we have a secondary objective. Kill Walter and then free Jennifer. Yes. Well, well, the angel of death has arrived at my door. I figured it was only a matter of time. Can I please have the key for Jennifer's collar? I figured you'd want to know about Hale first. That's why you came here, isn't it? Predominantly. Who? The key's in my pocket. Here, I don't want you desecrating my corpse. <laughs> he knows us. What do you want with Jennifer? She's Hale's payment. Unfortunately, he doesn't realize I'm, well, I'm unable to fornicate. You're a eunuch. However, she does make an excellent mule. Her tiny body can get in and out of places most can't. Ah! Which is all well and good. It's not like Hale can properly pay me. Whoops, uh, did I say that out loud in the vain hope you'd spare me? He's not the worst slaver we've come across. Yeah, it's not likely, though. <sighs> I figured as much. Uh, why don't you tell me what you know about Hale? Not much to tell. Fact you even know about him surprises me. I supply him with drugs. He gives me free labor. Used to pay in caps, but those days are long over. Now he pays in women? Those crates behind me might be of interest. I was supposed to drop it off to Hale personally. Latest shipment, you see. You're awfully forthcoming with this information. I always thought of loyalty as a machine. And machines need to be greased. Besides, I'm negotiating for my life. Although it does seem like a one-sided affair. That key I gave you, it'll detonate that collar of hers, popping her head like a cherry. It'll probably blow your hand off, too. Then why? Here's how this is gonna go down. 
I'm going to walk nice and slow out that door, and we ain't never going to see each other again. When I'm out, I'm going to shout through the door and tell you where the real key is. I feel like this exact same thing has happened before, and it didn't work last time. But he has been awfully forthcoming with a lot of information. Yeah, so was the last guy who tricked us. Well, that's true. And we could probably find the key if we scrounge around hard enough. I'll take my chances. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that. Yes, I am. In fact, if he's got the key on his purse, this is probably the better plan. 12 gauge round. No key, though. Then I guess we're going to have to keep oh. on looking. Probably that one. Also, where were those crates he was talking about? Are they in here? Unlocked with key number one. Okay, so that's what key one does. Oh, I set, off, I set off the thing. I set off the thing. Nothing's happening. A quick scan of the crates shows they're full of psycho, jet, buff out, hype, and other various chems. You look around to the back of the crates and find a label marked Pearson Military Base. If Druis was telling the truth, that's where you'll find Hale. Okie dokie. We have found the lead, Pearson Military Base. All we have to do now is free the woman with one of these keys. Did you find the key? We have a problem. There's two keys. One will free you, and the other... I see. Well, I don't want to stay locked up in here the rest of my life. Rather, it end here if need be. I think we should try the one we found on his desk first. Uh, this is That's assuming he's telling the truth. This is probably a bad time to tell you that we broke the rewind time machine. It's not working right now. What do you mean we broke it? Uh, we used it too much, and now whatever decision you make here is final. I refuse to accept that. I'm not ready. Take as long as you need. Just please, don't leave me here. Would you like me to make the decision instead? rock a bye, baby in the treetop. Oh. <laughs> ah! Fart knockers! Did you find the key? Use this one I found on his desk. Uh, that's... Okay, thanks for everything. Even if you do choose the wrong one, I appreciate you risking your life for me. Oh no, that was the bad one, I think, maybe? Nope, she's fine, see? <laughs> no, she's not fine! How's it going? Oh, God. More... Ugh. Ugh. Why didn't you just run away? My slave caller. He programs a specific path I have to take. If I deviate too far from it, kaboom. Do you have any family or anything that I can tell about your imminent demise? <laughs> family? No, not really. What about your parents? I don't want to see my parents. <laughs> I probably understand why, because you're 13 years old and you were sold into slavery. And you're missing a head. Let's change the subject. Thanks. So, Druis made you a drug carrier, huh? Is it because your head's detachable? I was his mule. I got off worse than the others. I think you got off lucky compared to the others. You look like you got off lucky, all right? Apparently you were supposed to be Druis's payment. I don't know why it had to be me. I can't handle constantly getting shot at. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever be over for me. Let's get going, okay? All right. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you're free. Oh, God, no. <sighs> this is going to hurt me more than uh, it hurts whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, 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 hey, What are you doing? I'm going to put her out of her misery. What? She's a perfectly healthy, normal little girl. Uh, you sure about that? Okay, we'll consider that to be out of her misery. Oh, no, she's unconscious. Oh, okay, good. I'm actually incredibly broken up about- Whoa! Oh my god! Hale sent a couple of goons to attack them. We're gonna shoot your head off, but it's okay. We recently realized that people can survive without their heads. Where is that even coming from? Oh, it's you. A little too close to the action for sniping. Yeah, you're a terrible sniper. There better not be people in here that I have to kill. Oh look, people I have to kill! Hey, we have to protect Olivia and the other girls! You stay out of this room, and none of this stuff is for you! <laughs> How are the girls doing? Oh. oh, look, Knowles is dead. Fair enough. And Elizabeth is dead. That's unfortunate. Olivia, Zoe, they're not in here. They might still be alive somewhere. Check Knowles' corpse, see if he had any love letters. David, these people are gonna be the death of me. They got us chasing some slaver all across the Mojave like some kind of hell tour of death. You like that? Hell tour of death? Nah, kinda, kinda silly. Anders, the last guy here besides myself in Brooklyn, bit it. 
just a few hours ago. You wanted the truth? Well, here it is. I got blood under my fingernails. And there's died in my arms. No, he died on the battlefield. I can't handle this anymore. I can't. I can't. You should have never let me join this crazy bitch anyway. <laughs> I guess I'll be seeing you soon. I love you. Bye. More jokes! Jokes! Make funny! Ha oh, he has a gay lover named David, isn't Don't that funny? Don't make fun of people for being gay. No, it's funny because he has a gay lover named David, ah. Uh, it's not funny. Well, it's not morbid, which is a nice change of pace. Hey, there's another girl, hey! Six. You're just in time. Actually, you're a little late, but hey, whatever. Where'd you get that gun? Why am I asking that question? There's guns everywhere. Why do you have that gun? Take a wild guess. I assume you salvaged it from some pre-war armory? Perhaps a pre-pre-war armory? Uh. What does that even mean? So, why grab gun? You make it sound like I want to use it on myself. Yeah, that's a slight concern. I've had plenty of chances for that. I want to fight back. Do something with my freedom besides feeling sorry. Women are just second-class citizens to men like Hale. And it's not just him. I'm going to prove them wrong. Why don't you get some weapons training from a qualified professional? Not Edmund. Really? You won't regret this. Oh look, it's Brooklyn Terminal! Oh boy, let's read her personal diary a second time. Oh, she password protected it, no! Ah, uh, but luckily the password is... Simple. Oh, what is it? Simple. What is it? Simple. If it's so simple, then what is it? It's simple. You say it's simple, but what is it? It's simple. Then tell me what it is. It's simple. Yeah, you say that, but what is it? Mike, the password is simple. Who's on first? I believe this day was called Memorial Day, before the war. A celebration for the country's military. How odd. Why would anyone celebrate their military? It's not a celebration of the military. It's a, it's a remembrance of the people who died in the service of the military. Yeah, you're conflating it with Veterans Day. Next day, been working on a poem. Don't know if it's any good, but I like it. I... Oh my god, no. <laughs> Got a lead on Hale this morning. Andrew said he saw Courier 6 and some NCR officer engage in a shootout at the old slave sanctuary. The slaves were all dead. What 6 and the officer don't know is that some of Hale's men got away. Andrews followed one of them and... Okay, that's where we met them. That, that's... Uh, yep. All right. Don't know when you had time to come back to the safe house and write this, but okay. Knowles is arguing again. Says he doesn't want to start a war with somebody like Hale if he isn't getting paid for it. I, I told him to stop buying so much porn and maybe he wouldn't have to worry about money. With all his talk of porn and late nights at the Wrangler, he must not know that I know he's gay. But I know that he knows that I don't know that he doesn't know that I know that he knows. Yeah, Zoe, why don't you keep your mouth shut? Good to see you two are okay. Edmund, where's... They didn't make it. They're dead. No. Ah! Olivia, Zoe, get down. Am I supposed to shoot one of them? <laughs> no, I think we're supposed to defend the bank. Oh good, I just shot this guy with an anti-material rifle and he shrugged it off. <laughs> oh, are you trying to make friends with that little love tap? <laughs> trying to make friends with that one! How the hell could you let them die? They were dead before I got there, Brooklyn. I'm sorry. Oh good! Super mutants have shown up! Thank God! You get out of my salmon bushes! Who the fuck is shooting me with a goddamn cannon? Oh, look who we've got here! Oh, jeez, Louise! <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys, I was waiting for you to get out of the bank. I'd like to make a deposit. No, oh, I have all these quarters. Uh, he's got a grenade! He's got a grenade! He's got a grenade! Run, run, run! Run, run! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's fine. He never used that frag grenade. Never pulled the pin. He just he was holding on to the frag grenade, going, I die, you die! I die, you die! <laughs> How's it going? Why did you set up in a bank anyway? It's all about them dollar 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 bills, yo. <laughs> oh my god. No? No? Yeah. That, that's a no. Uh, yes. No, that was... It's a secure location. Three iron vaults that can withstand whatever the fiends throw at it and enough free pens to write a new constitution. Hey! Finally, we got some jokes! What'd you get from Druis? Hale is at a pre-war military base called Pearson. I know where that is. Place is completely engulfed by radiation. 
We're going to need a boat to get there. What do we do with the girls? We can't leave them here, and we can't take them with us. I'm going with you. Absolutely not. Don't argue with me about this. It's my decision. Yep, it's her decision. Okay, fair enough. Fine. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What about Zoe and Jennifer? Followers of the Apocalypse will take them. And Sierra has been helping them rebuild. <sighs> yeah, that's a possibility. I'll go with Livy and find us a boat. Then I guess I'll swing by the followers and drop off Zoe and Jennifer. You going with me to the boat or with Brooklyn to the followers? What do you think we should do? Give us your hot take. I can't make that call for you. Oh my god. You know what choice I made. I'll go with Brooklyn, I guess. I <laughs> wish I had balls like yours. Oh shit, I'm turning into Boyd. Good luck. Alright, let's go to the followers of the apocalypse. Hey everybody, we got these flea-ridden whores here for you. Can you take care of them? We can't be bothered. Well, nice work, Mike. Keep an eye out for trouble. Excuse me, we're here to drop off a patient. Have you filled out the forms? What forms? The NCR provides forms. What's the NCR got to do with anything? After the terrorist attack at the follower station in Freeside, Dr. Usanagi asked for the NCR's help in maintaining the New Vegas clinic. Since then, the clinic has fallen under the NCR's command and thus, paperwork has ensued. Oh. Now if you'll excuse me, I have patience to tend to. Oh boy, paperwork. We're the ones who attacked the followers. <laughs> what? 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 Holy shit, you're Brooklyn? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> yeah, you're Courier 6, aren't no. you? No! You've got some nerve coming here. He's Courier 5.9! NCR lets you shoot the place up, and now you've come here expecting a free ride. Well... Well, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know, he's got a point. We did poison all of Freeside. But this isn't about us. It's about these women. She doesn't need treatment, just a place to stay for a while. Also, if you don't take them, I will kill you. Yeah, well, this ain't a hotel. We charge a hundred caps a week to stay here. That sounds like a hotel to me. No, because we don't make a profit. All that money goes back into fueling the NCR war machine. The old followers never force people to pay. The followers never had the NCR breathing down their necks, freely using their supplies and caps as they pleased. Ugh, I hope you realize what you've done. You two should be swinging from a rope, and no amount of slave rescues will change that. This is no time for tetherball. It'll be a hundred caps a week. We rescued them from a hole in the ground, they were slaves, and now you want to turn them away. <sighs> Playing the guilt card, huh? Look, we can't do anything for them. We're understaffed, undertrained, ill-equipped, and we've already got too many patients as it is. I wish I could do more, but the NCR doesn't seem too concerned about us right now. Well, we did pick up a bunch of money from that weeb samurai guy. Oh my god, fine, here's, here's 5,000 caps. These your version of blood diamonds? Yes! <sighs> on second thought, I don't want to know. I already have to live knowing these are going to be spent on the invasion of Arizona. Also, are you going to tell the guards about us? I have no appetite to see a battle break out in a hospital. You two did that? It's complicated. There is nothing complicated about it. You know, I was actually beginning to forgive myself. Keep your fucking mouth shut, Brooklyn. We're wanted by the NCR for, I don't know, fucking poisoning all of Freeside and killing all the followers of the apocalypse. Learn to keep your mouth shut. I cannot believe that she did that. <laughs> I, that's abs- that is so... Fucking baffling to me. I don't understand what she was hoping to accomplish either. I'm sorry, we, we can't help you. We murdered a bunch of people! Still can't help you, and also I'm calling the cops. What is this? This is the boat? Why why is that a Legion flag there? Is there a Legion flag on this boat? Is there a Legion flag on the why is Tell me that's not a Legion flag. You better have stolen this from the Legion, Edmund. Hey, Edmund, you want to tell Olivia about what we've been up to, too? He looks at the ground because he's ashamed of himself. <laughs> As he should be. Good job on the boat, Edmund. Yeah. Just don't ask me how I got it running. What's wrong? 
Kurt suspended me. Wants to court-martial me for neglecting duties and misusing NCR resources, the prick. I'm sorry. Don't let him get to you. I know, but I can't help it. It doesn't matter. Hop in and let's hope this 200-year-old turd doesn't sink halfway there. Did you have time to stop by Vegas and report to your superior? Or did he contact you over the radio? I don't, I don't think that one's the case, considering that uh, it's been proven that Edmund does not know how to operate a radio. <laughs> hey, welcome to the military base, and we Oh, wow, we are just right, going right into this one, huh? This used to be an NCR base. All the radiation outside forced an evacuation. Doesn't seem to bother Hale, if he's still here. Maybe he's desperate. That's on his tail. Mmm, good, 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 good. <laughs> Good. Good. All of this. Great. All of this. Very... What the hell is this thing? Hey, a medical terminal! Uh, Lieutenant Garza has recently come to my attention that the uh, area surrounding this base is more radiated than previously thought. We do not have the supplies to deal with this many cases of radiation sickness. Also, my hair has started to fall out. I also question your decision to, as you put it, Heal those showing signs of ghoulification. These are men you're having killed. Men that you promised to get home safely. Instead, you're putting a bullet in their head because you don't like ghouls. You might not be executing them yourself, but make no mistake about it, you're the one who's killing them, don't you know? We don't have the supplies or the manpower we need to hold this base. You and I both know that this is the ass end of nowhere, and this place holds no tactical purposes to the NCR. I recommend you give the order to pull out immediately, or I'll all be dead by the end of the month. Sergeant Myers. Sergeant Myers died three minutes later because Lieutenant Garza came in and shot him in the face. I don't suppose it's open. You are hopelessly optimistic. <laughs> I love this. The tail's turned to hide and he's got nowhere to go. Um, well, if he's even in there. This door's reinforced steel. We're gonna need C4 to get it open. Six, go back to the armory downstairs. See if there's any C4. Okay, I'll go too. Edmund, why don't you wait here, in case he tries to sneak out? Oh, make me stay behind, huh? If he decides to open up, keep him alive. Oh, who's the optimistic one now? <laughs> Olivia. What? I'm worried about you. You shouldn't be here. I appreciate your concern. But I'm willing to take a bullet if it means stopping Hale. What about 12 bullets? Forgive me if that doesn't really put me at ease. Sorry, I... don't know what else to tell you. Just don't let your hatred get the better of you. As long as you, Edmund, and Six are there for me, I can handle it. That's right. But you can handle anything on your own. Alright, let's not get all sappy now. Oh, but I was just about to say how cute you look when you get flustered. Six, I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like my hard-earned reputation being tarnished. What reputation? Is a terrible shot in a poor conversationalist? Yes, that one. And now everybody <laughs> thinks that I'm also a traitor. And also a foot fetishist. That's the thing that pisses you off the most. Not really, I don't really give a shit about that anymore. <laughs> Think whatever the fuck they want. Uh, where were these reinforcements that were supposed to- You know what? I'm not even gonna question it. Whenever you're ready, Six. Wait! You're only going to bring the whole place down. Ooh. I'm unlocking the door. <laughs> okay! Hello, Hale. Remember me? It was pretty easy, old man. Keep an eye out for any traps. We don't offer refunds. An asshole till the end. I want information about your network. If you talk to me, I might be able to hold these two off. Can't keep your whores in line. Ooh. So, you're the hero I've heard so much about, huh? You don't look like much. But if even half the stories I've heard about you are true, then you are a genuine badass. <laughs> You know, Hale, we've been chasing you for quite a while now. Your death is going to be very enjoyable. I should mention that we did kidnap your children, and we killed both of them. I hate to ruin your little victory, but 
I feel I must tell you the truth. I'm done in this business regardless. Uh, I have been for quite some time now. I guess I just didn't want to admit it to myself. But the fact of the matter is, my business is in ruins. What exactly happened? Does it really matter? Someone will take my place. Somewhere down the line, somewhere on this bitter earth, another broken man will rise or fall. Well, not if we made an example out of you. I wish you all good luck in stopping <laughs> those future villains. I also suggest you hurry up and put that bullet between my eyes before the rest of my men show up. The rest? Why else would the evil villain sit there and explain his motivations if it weren't to set up a trap? Even if I am going to die. Psychological manipulation? Any minute now, the last of my boys will be standing right where you are. Either staring at my corpse, or praising Jesus for the miracle. Which is it gonna be? The former. Oh! <laughs> You gotta you got do it again. It only worked once. Is this your first time using a gun? You know what? <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> yeah, Olivia, how dare you? <laughs> I needed to ask him. I needed to know! Brooklyn, whatever injustice he might have caused you, it doesn't matter anymore. No matter what he would have said, it wouldn't have made you feel any better than you do right now. What do you know? I know I feel pretty good. How about you? Me too. Here they come! What the hell are you doing? H hello You're not gonna fight? You want me to die for a dead man? What do we do? We should get out of here while we have the chance. These guys are just gonna go and join the fiends and kill more innocent people. We need to stop that before that happens. You, you guys know I'm standing with an earshot? Is it really worth killing a bunch of innocent people? Well they're not innocent! They're part of the sex trafficking ring! Oh, I forgot about that part. Hooray, we're the good guys again! I wonder if they're- Holy oh, okay. shit! How about that to get your adrenaline going? Mike jumped off the boat! This can't be good. Enjoy the ride, sir. No, I haven't found my sea legs yet. Guess I'm gonna have to go out more often. Well, I'm afraid that's not gonna happen. By orders of General Kurtz, you're all under arrest. Uh, On what charges? Kill him! Oh, you are the least qualified to ask me that. <laughs> Alright, then I'm asking. Why do you think? The families of those soldiers killed at the Mojave Bridge want justice? You want to arrest me, that's fine. But you have no right to take them. Yeah! Who are you? Olivia. I was a slave not 24 hours ago, until these people saved my life. These are good people. You can't arrest them just no. because you're some- No! Whoa, whoa, okay! <laughs> Back off. I'm warning you. <laughs> okay! Apparently he didn't want to listen to his speech! Alright, fine. Not really a fan of murdering NCR soldiers, but Damn. they pulled the trigger what first. It's on them. Well, we do have a Legion flag on the boat. No! Holy shit! What did we do? Killed some men that needed killing. Ooh. And we ain't done yet. No, we're done! Why not? Besides the fact we're now fugitives, the Mojave needs us more than the NCR. Graham, what you're thinking of doing is suicide. It's just the two of us. Three. Olivia, please. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, not to mention you just got shot. I'm fine. I believe in you. In us. Not the NCR. Do you have any idea how stupid you sound? They do sound pretty stupid. After everything we went through to save your life, you want to throw it away chasing what? Some silly idea of revenge? Sounds an awful lot like you, doesn't it? You don't know anything about me! I know this is exactly what you fought for with War Trash. A peaceful, free Mojave. And we're gonna achieve that peace through war? You didn't seem too concerned about that before. If this is how it's gonna be, then you're both hired. It is my business, after all. Wait, what? Yes, ma'am. What? I'm a little confused. I know I'm asking a lot, but I need to know if you're with us. Uh, 
to- Killing an NCR general will put you down a path you cannot turn back from. We could probably play this off. We can say that they shot first, or- Or they were Legion spies. Yeah, yeah there we go. Pret they were on a boat with a Legion flag on it. We were standing here on the shore. We saw the boat with the Legion flag. I fired grenades at it. I I'm, I'm still flabbergasted by the fact that you're asking us to kill an NCR general. I did kind of already mow him down with a machine gun in his office. Yeah, we already found out he's got plot armor. He can't die. Your efforts are going to be in vain. I, d I don't know what to do. Would it be cliche of me to say follow your heart? Yes. I can't make that choice for you, and frankly, you don't have much time to make it. I really want to tell him to piss off. Go fuck yourself, Edmund. I'm not going to force you to do anything. We can do this on our own. Thanks for all the help. You're going to die. We couldn't have done any of this without you. You're going to die. Edmund, what in the Sam hell are you doing here? Where's Blondie? He's dead. What? What have you done? He attacked us on your order, which got me wondering. You've got the biggest army in the world at your disposal, and you do nothing to help the people of the Mojave. How many people do you think have died because of your inaction? You're in a lot of trouble, son. You're ready to fight our way out. We should be safe here for now. Let's get our breath. I... I can't believe we did that. I killed a lot of my friends back there. That can't be a surprise to you. No. Was it worth it? Absolutely. You're still technically one of fugitives. Killing him didn't absolve you of your crimes. War Trash! A mod where you go through vanilla areas and kill a bunch of really important things <laughs> and it ruins your entire playthrough. Thank God we have this rewind time machine. There were a lot of difficulties getting this mod to run. It glitched out quite a lot. It did not want to work. But there was some really quality voice acting. Yes, the voice acting was good, but they were trying a little too hard. To, to be serious, you mean? Yeah. It, it could be difficult to be a serious mod in the world of Fallout New Vegas. Props for attempting something semi-serious, though. Edmund, are you okay? I heard screaming. No, oh, I, uh... It was just a nightmare, that's all. Who were you killing in it? Boyd. Did you enjoy it? Uh, I don't know. Are you gonna be okay? You, uh... You wanna crawl in here and make me okay? Ooh, tempting. <laughs> but I'll pass. We got a long day ahead of us, so get back to bed. Okay, Mom. <laughs> they have no right to be happy about anything, ever. <laughs>